And uh, he actually builds machines of his own. So stereolithography. If anybody is interested to kind of talk to somebody to build, you know, ceramic 3D printers, particularly, but it's it links more to the inks, you know. So you you can quickly see it here. We have developed these ink conducting ink pens, you know, and you can see that in this case, this is a silver ink or different things. So for example, on the whiteboard, this student is going to light up a LED with this conducting ink pen. So there are this part, this picture here shows the conducting ink pen on the right side is a silver based highlighter which is also used for PCB prototyping, okay. So the only link is inks and I thought, you know, how to share it with everybody. So I, the only connection to this is, you know, the ink common because we are doing photopolymerization, right. Unlike maybe other additive management is lost, right. Uh, so that part is clear, right. Emacs and EC, EC is the better in terms of being the surfactant. And you can see in terms of also particle size, right? That's that's giving you better dispersion. The oleic acid is giving you better dispersion. Okay, I'm going to get a feel for additive before you go to a 2-3 crore machine, right? So I'll show you results. This is surfactant, as I said, oleic acid works really well, right? Same machine here shown in the anecubic. Of course, after a while, we have done, you know, studied this curing, uh, sorry, transmittance. To understand this, we have done transmittance data. Where R replay your centered body looks good. So in principle you can do 3D printing with you know within 50,000 rupees, you know, with all your raw materials.